In this video, we will show you the last steps involved to finish off a site plan so that it is ready for use on your evacuation diagrams. For this exercise, we will start by completing the existing fences. To do this, select the wall tool and use the tall fence preset option. Then simply draw in the remaining fences as you would draw in walls on a floor plan. Next, add a gate by the building's entry by using the doors tool and selecting the double swing door. For this, we will draw the door with fixed width turned off. Finally, you can add in any last remaining details to your site plan by using the fixtures tool or by drawing with the detailing tool. For this, we're gonna draw in some additional car parks around our building by drawing in a series of white lines. With all the site plan drafting now finished, it is time to start adding in our evacuation paths. The only difference between the navigation tools in floor plans and site plans is now the target tool is replaced with an assembly area icon. With the assembly area placed, we can now draw in our evacuation routes, making sure that we start each path of the nav mesh inside the building footprint and continue it to the assembly area or join another path. Once all the possible routes are drawn, we can test them all to check they are working and we will add in some final exit tags. These are optional, but by placing these on the ends of each route inside the building footprint, we can then assign each evacuation path to the relevant levels, which allows us to have greater control over which paths we want to display on our evacuation signs later when we come to frame up signs. Finally, make sure that each of our footprints are assigned a level and our site plan is now ready to use on an evacuation diagram.